Welcome, welcome very much to Conversation. It's a pleasure to welcome the program. A friend I've met recently who's destined to become a better friend of mine and the world's in the time ahead, I would suggest. His handle that he goes by is um, Chef Cajun Ken, which is the time that he speaks the fact that he's uh, from the southern part of the United States, Mississippi and whatnot, and he's also a chef uh, that's uh, fo focusing on uh, Cajun cuisine, and he has a program newly happy to announce here at MNN. He's a program that's aired on MNN as well as other venues, and he's a serious production. Uh, he's in serious video production, and he's in New York City, and uh, welcome so much, Chef Ken. Thank you, Harold. It's a pleasure to be here. We met the other day. You liked our dog. So um, that, that gets a long way with us. Yeah, you, you, I liked him a lot. That dog liked you. Do you yeah, realize that? Yeah, he's already yeah. emailed me He's like me an a old hound times. dog. He's they already, got dogs down south yeah, a lot, He's right? emailed me a few times. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. He don't type that well, yeah. but, uh, you know, he gets his message across. <laughs> yeah. Anyhow, let's get on a little bit with it. You're younger, I know that. You share your own background. Born and raised a little bit, and we'll talk about it. And then we've got a clip we're going to show of you. But the show you're putting together. Oh, really? Now, what what clip is that? I'm not, the I'm clip that is, uh, no, of your show. We've got oh, a clip wow. that, um, that we're going to include in this program. Oh, okay, excellent. I'm uh, excited to see what clip they sent in. So. Well, okay, anyway, uh, share your background. Born down south, well, I, was, I guess. I was huh? born in Mississippi yeah. uh, in a small little community, uh, Steens Junction, mm -hmm. and uh, grew up there and then uh, moved down to Biloxi uh, around uh, when I was a teenager, and then grew up in Biloxi, Mississippi, which is only about an hour from New Orleans. I remember Biloxi driving through. I haven't been down there much, that part of the country. It's beautiful, beautiful. But town. I remember driving along the ocean front in Biloxi, and they've got these great, massive mansions all along the ocean they front. They used to. At they're not there. Any, that would have been back in the 70s. You uh, know? After, uh, after Hurricane Katrina came through, we lost oh, a really? lot of the, the, the beautiful mansions. There's still a few along the uh, Highway 90. Uh -huh. uh, but we lost a lot of beautiful homes. Even they had gorgeous houses gorgeous. all along really the ocean were. front. Yeah. And those homes uh, went through Hurricane Camille back in uh, 69, yeah, I, remember I believe. That. Yeah. And Hurricane Katrina yeah. wiped well, them out. It was a hell of a thing. Wasn't it really it? was. It was a one in a once in a lifetime storm. Yeah. yeah. It's a beautiful little uh, beach town. Uh, Biloxi is back on top and they're growing. And that's where you grew up? You were drug up there? Is that what uh, they say? Yeah, I guess I could say I was. I, I grew up in Biloxi. Yeah. And then uh, working over in Louisiana between uh, both of them. I really call uh, Biloxi and uh, parts of Louisiana down south my true home. Uh, and, huh. uh Although I think New York City is trying to claim you. And I, I think you're trying to claim New York City. I love New York City. You do. Don't, don't get me wrong. No. I ran away to this place when I was a kid. But you know, when you I, were 12 years old, you ran away from home to go to New York City. Yeah. You wanted to be a star, like so many people no, come to New York. What I, prompted I, you to go to New York City I, when you were in the? I asked. Uh, I asked for. Uh, That's a gutsy thing to do at a young for Christmas lad of 12. And uh, birthdays and uh, vacations, I kept asking uh, to let's go to New York. Let's go to New York, and my folks never would do it. Why did you want to go to New York when you had beautiful Biloxi? You know? uh, I don't know. I always had a draw to uh, to the big lights, big city. Loved New York as as a child for some unknown reason. Uh -huh. My grandmother uh, lived in Brooklyn, uh, 45 Flatbush in Brooklyn uh -huh. back in uh, uh, 1945, right. right before the war ended. Yeah, right. And so I guess her stories of talking about Brooklyn and New York City, and she rode the trolleys back when mm -hmm. trolleys were running on I the streets. I remember trolleys from yeah. Detroit when I was young. We oh, had yeah? trolleys. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. So yeah. I guess her stories about yeah. New York City and all that good stuff, it did something to me. And I said, well, there's I'm a lot in the, in the film, too, film, f yeah. movies and things sing movies. the praise of. New York City is known for being a fast town, a lot going on, a lot of That's, action, yeah. that kind of and stuff. And I like that. And that, attacked, that yes. attracted you. It sure did. You could have relaxed in the life of a gentleman. I you really know? could have. Yeah. I've been baking biscuits yeah. and uh, uh -huh. and going, uh, you know, coon hunting uh, yeah. in the woods with the hound dogs. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I decided to uh, move down to Biloxi and uh, love Biloxi and stuff. And your family was there? Uh, no, they stayed uh, up in North Mississippi. Well, wait a minute. Well, you you moved to Biloxi at what age? I, I moved mean, to Biloxi back when I was probably maybe 21, 22. Oh, wait a minute. You were, you came to New York when you ran away from home and came to New well, York I when did. you were 12. I did run away. Huh. Did you I, go on a railroad? Did you run a, like Huck Finn or something? No. Or what, were you what a Huck it, Finn type or what happened Tom was Sawyer type? I or got something? money for Christmas. Oh, well, then that. And I bought a one-way bus oh. ticket <laughs> on my, by myself because okay. my friends were supposed to go with me. Yeah. And they basically chickened out yeah, and that happens, uh, didn't yeah. want to go uh -huh. or didn't get enough money for Christmas. And uh, 
I said, you know, this is the plant. We we are we're going. Uh -huh. I said, so I'm going by myself. I'm going if I go by myself. So, uh, and you did. I made it all the way to the Port Authority bus How'd station. How'd you get? Oh, you took the bus. 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 bus, bus, bus. abroad. I knew know? I loved New York City. And you loved it from the get-go? Yep, and I knew I'd be just fine. I was going to probably have to live on the street, uh, but uh, I knew if worst case scenario got really bad, I could always pick the phone up and call my folks and somebody would uh, would come. They would be there. They, they wouldn't would, say, right. you ran away, it's up to you, son. No, Make your oh, own way. It they, wouldn't have been that kind they didn't even of thing. It was a good family setting. They didn't right? even know I was gone they didn't until, even know you were gone. until the police department uh. from the Port Authority calls up my dad and says, oh my God, uh, your do you poor have mother. a son? Yeah, kind, and they said yes. He said, "This is Sergeant uh, Sergeant Rodriguez from the New York City Port Authority Police Department." Uh huh. And he couldn't believe it. Yeah, right. You, you who couldn't believe it? Yeah. Your father. My father. My yeah. father. My father thought I was staying with a friend. What was he like? Up. What was your dad like? My dad was a uh, carpenter. He. Uh, uh, I grew up in the woodworking family. He, oh, uh, really? he, he uh, did a lot of carpentry and built cabinets. Yeah. And my grandfather was uh, built homes and. It's houses. like an art form, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. And, co and cooking. Well, is my father an art wasn't form, as much yeah. as the cook as uh, mm. my mother, my grandfather, father, my grandfathers were, mm. and uh, my immediate uh, aunts and uncles. They were all big chefs. So and the cooks. family went back quite a long time. You had a tracing the family in the South for quite yeah, a while. Yeah. Yeah. It goes so far back. I think they they scribbled their name on Plymouth Rock when no. they when they came through. So Plymouth uh, Rock, way up north. Yeah, but hey, that's it, way up everybody north. Everybody had to come from somewhere. Well, so, that's yeah. true. So that they, is true. They all they all come uh, from from the north and they settle down in the south. So, yeah, uh, my family's been. So uh, you like New York and you like the south. South's different in a lot of south ways. Is it's different. got its own culture. I love I love to visit and uh, hang out there and uh, get immersed in the in the Cajun and Southern uh, ambiance and the food and the and the and the family and the fun yeah. and then I love coming back to New York yeah. and uh, doing what we do here you know so best of both worlds. tell us the the, the sub and substance of the south I mean they have juke mills they have uh, barbecue is a big thing yeah uh, we they have, have gin, gin joints and everything and <laughs> rum running. I don't and, know about you know, all that. I'm looking at the movies and yeah, things like yeah, that and getting yeah, the Blacy Blues. Everybody well, likes yeah, Blacy yeah, Blues. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. We have uh, we have our dive bars down there and mm. uh, we have every home probably has a uh, a grill. Mm. You guys call them barbecues. We call it grilling. Yeah. You know. Uh, it's a big deal. It is a big deal. Mm. During the uh, summertime, uh, we grill out more than we cook. Inside, we use the ovens to store our pots well, it's, and pans. It's warmer down there, isn't oh, it? Oh, it's hot. It's, it's hot it's and humid. Ooh, isn't it's hot. It? Isn't that awful hot? Oh, humid? You get oh, all humid too? It is hot. Let you like that? You. you like that heat? I and don't humid? care for it all that super hot. Uh -huh. you know? I like. I love the fall. Yeah. And uh, but you know, you're grilling and you're outside and uh, you know, you just got to deal with the heat. You just drink a lot of cold liquids. Uh huh. And. Uh, you know, everybody has swimming pools or there's a water hose to yeah. spray yourself Oh, yeah, off we with. had that, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and everything. And then you also got a gig, uh, as it were, on a tugboat or something, I saw. Or yeah, a boat. A boat. You got yeah. a, a, a gig on a boat for a while or something? I started my love affair with Cajun food, real okay. Cajun food. Yeah, uh, I want to get what that is, uh, yeah. Uh -huh. On a uh, tugboat in Port Fouchon, Louisiana. Uh-huh. And I was a deckhand. Mm -hmm. I was a young deckhand. My job was everything on the How boat. How old you were there? Oh, 15, 16? No, no, you know, you, was, you can't. You got to be a little older than that. Yeah. Uh, I, was, I guess that's a big boat. Yeah, I was, uh, I was 18, 19, okay. right around in that. Yeah, you're getting to be a man. Yeah, yeah, yeah big yeah. man, big yeah. man. You big. Know? Well, so, okay, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and you, you like adventure? Are you? Do you have an adventurous streak? I adventure? love adventure. Yeah, I love adventure. Push love the envelope. It. Yeah. Have you traveled around the world much? I have would you to want to go to China? Would you want to go to Africa? I would love to go to China and Africa. I've been to a few places in Europe and uh, mm -hmm. loved it and loved traveling. And, uh, you know, love experiencing foods in different cultures uh -huh. and finding ways to take great foods that they have yeah. and, and incorporate them in with what we're doing. So down, as down it is, you're a chef. A chef is not just a cook. A cook is a cook, but a chef is a chef. Chef is master of the And where did you learn? Kitchen. And what you do is your specialty is Cajun. Now, Cajun is deep south, in That's my right. way of thinking. It's French or something. Uh, What's the roots of French Acadian. Uh, Aca they're, Ca they're from Canada. That's right. The yeah? Cajuns are yeah. originally from Acadiana. And um, would you be of that stock, do you think? 
or do you I know? I don't know. Uh, uh, I wouldn't want to say. I just know I'm, I'm Cajun in my heart. Yeah. I, lo I love Louisiana. I love Mississippi. I love the South. And uh, Unique music. You know, yeah, yeah. We unique culture. Some unique culture, unique music. French. It's, it's French, French American. Yeah, right, you know, and, right. Uh, the, uh, the Acadians uh, were drove out of Canada by the British. And so they, uh, a few hundred of them started moving themselves down south and they ended up settling down uh, in the lower parts of Louisiana and some parts of Mississippi and around the Mississippi River. And uh, they, their, their French food, they brought all those seasonings and those ways of cooking mm -hmm. down south. So well, now they started had to live in, start having to live off the land. Mm -hmm. So what do we have in abundance down south? We have everything, including alligator and crawfish and crabs and oysters. So they yeah, took that French the crawfish, way of cooking. The crawfish and the oysters and the fish, I understand. The alligator is a little strange to me. I found out that you all eat alligator tail. It's abundant. Is it? It's abundant. Yeah, so but they're so ugly. It doesn't matter. They we, look ugly to oh, me. Oh, Don't they, they look ugly? They're hideous. I never, yeah, would, uh, I never would kiss yeah, one. Yeah. You know, but... Uh, they, they are ugly, but uh, when you don't have a lot to eat back in those days... Uh, was it a hard scrabble for the Acadians? Oh, something? it was it was. Oh, terrible. it wasn't, it wasn't it was gentlemen terrible. farmers and no, things. No, no, yeah. they, mm -hmm. they packed up mm -hmm. and they moved from, from town what, to town. What, were they following, per were they being persecuted? They were being persecuted by, by whom? The, by the British were killing the them. Those, those British. Yeah, those, those British. Those English, those and Anglos. Those, and so they, and I'm an Anglo. You know, there yeah, you go. I'm sorry, <laughs> but I just am. You know, you can't do much about your can't background. Do, can't can do you? much about your background. You got no choice in you that know, regard. I, I say, be proud of who you are and where you're from, and uh, don't force your uh, your values and uh, and and the cultures on anyone else, but share it. I think that's a you good know? idea, don't you? And that's what I feel like I'm doing. Be good if that could catch on more. You know, I hope yeah. so. Yeah, I, I do too. You I know, have it, I have and it. one of the ways to cross culture is the, is is in the food area. Is in the. Did food. you learn at your mother's knee, or your niece, or your grandmother, or your aunt, or something, uh, the Cajun way of cooking? Well, and I, was that part of the family well, going, setting? Uh, we've always cooked some Cajun food. There's always been Louisiana style mixed in with uh, Southern style foods, and it's just part of. Uh, it's just part of everyday life. Now uh -huh. you want to get really immersed into it. You know, the story goes back when I learned how to cook on the tugboat, the oh, L.A. Yeah. Ogeron. I saw that, yeah. Ogeron. Which was parked, uh, we used to dock at Port Fouchon, Louisiana, mm. and we it was an offshore tugboat. Mm -hmm. and it was about a crew of about four uh, on the crew, uh -huh. and I would help the uh, uh, the guy, the Cajun cook on boat, to uh, to cook the food. We would go and... and uh, Get fresh shrimp. We'd get fresh. Uh, a lot of shrimp. A lot of shrimp. We get yeah. fresh shrimp, fresh crabs mm -hmm. down down the bayou. Would even uh, go uh, apple snail picking. Where when the tides go down, there's these little apple snails that would clean. It's yeah. basically as cargo. Yeah. Huh? You boil those up with a little Cajun season and dig those out. Woo! Hey, what are you talking about? That's, that's some good stuff. Is that right? You didn't have it at your mother's table or something? No, or, we uh, didn't cook apple snails because uh, mm -hmm. they didn't. They no, were not, not that, abundant. but the Cajun. The Cajun. I mean, the Cajuns. Is Cajuns that, eat anything that's good, and they'll try to eat anything and put some seasoning on it. And you know what? Usually nine times out of ten, it comes out delicious. Really? I guarantee it. Yeah. And that's the difference between Cajun and the Creoles. The Creoles are more oh, yeah. French-influenced. Okay. They use more higher Too bad ingredients. the French don't know how to that's, make anything. You got that right. French don't know how to cook. You, you know? know? They're, they're, they're making a yeah. joke. They make a big thing out they of it. Make they make a big thing about it. The big Cajuns thing did not food. make a big thing about uh -huh. it. We cooked everything. Mm. and uh, Including alligators. When, when you have had to, yeah. and, uh, and t you know, you cook something long enough, you tenderize the meat, and uh, I just did an episode with alligator sauce piquant. Yeah, you got to get to your show and everything. Yeah, and, that's great. And yeah. uh, you're too damned interesting. That's your problem. <laughs> Slow down. Slow Don't down. be so interesting. Slow yeah. down. Yeah. You know. Mm. And so you cook that alligator down uh, two or three hours, and that meat just tenderizes and it sucks up all those tomatoes and those flavors and stuff. And trust me, it sounds uh, different because. You know, but they're so ugly. They're like yeah, something out of but a you know what? pre-mortal. When it's on a plate with rice, well, it's beautiful. Particularly if you're hungry. Probably. Yeah, it's yeah, beautiful. Right, Trust right. me, if you mm -hmm. was to eat it and I didn't tell you what it was, yeah. you'd be like, you'd be giving yeah. me your plate back and saying, I want some more of that that chicken sauce over there. I, I had know? a friend at a place out in the end of Long Island, right? It, it had eat Hamptons in there. Right. And they were out there early on, and they had uh, slaves and things for a while. And everything, but not they, recently. Yeah, no, way back, way back, you know, in time. But there, it was there, and they had so many lobsters. There, lobsters were oh, everywhere. Oh. Lobsters everywhere. Man, if we had lobsters and, down oh. south, would be dangerous. And they had a rule that you could not 
feed, no, maybe it was just your workmen or something, you could not feed them lobster more than six times a week as a meal. <laughs> because, I like you know, that. Yeah, you know, you couldn't give them uh, fresh lobster. See, anyway, we've got to move along. You're too damned interesting, but uh, welcome aboard in terms of having a program. Let's talk Thank about you. it. You've become, to, you've come to New York recently. We met you, I'm glad we have, we're gonna become friends, and you're here at MNN, so that's a connection to television. You've gotten yourself involved yeah. in television. So uh -huh. why don't we talk some about that? You got a show here at MNN, since yeah. we're in yeah. MNN. MNN is and it's called um, uh, Cooking in the, Cajun in the City. Cajun right? in the City. Talk about it, you know, okay. Well, Cajun in the City is a show that I'm the executive producer along with my uh, business partner, Travis Rapp. We produced and funded uh, the first uh, series of Cajun in the City. 13 network ready episodes and we you know MNN is one of the networks that we aired on uh, uh -huh. amongst a few others but uh, uh -huh. the show started in my studio apartment in Midtown Manhattan yeah uh, a few years back because I always like to cook so when I come to New York my cooking stopped I didn't cook anything in my kitchen probably for three or four years I uh -huh. had lost the desire you ate hot to dogs. cook I just ate stuff uh, and I'm like, you know, I can't take it anymore. I have to, I have to cook. I you have had to picked grill. up the Cajun ability. You, uh, the no, I, I knew how it. to cook all Cajun yeah. stuff. You I know, learned that back when I was that young. Was your mommy's but name, I had all yeah. this yeah. cooking skills and this yeah. desire, and it just. And, uh, it's an art form. It's therapy. Definitely. It's also therapy, Thera too. That's interesting. I it really is. Yeah, yeah, I love yeah. chopping up those celeries and those carrots and and uh, cooking down a chicken and There's something the stock, called a sous chef does you know? that, I thought. Yeah, sous the chef. sous chef does that, uh, but the chef is really like an artiste. Yeah, yeah, yeah really. It can be, Yeah. It can be. Okay, and, yeah. And, but I was able to cook like that up here because my kitchen was very, very tiny. Yeah, okay. And I had no space to do hardly anything. I'm shocked you had a place that was tiny in New York City, that's odd. I know, it was amazing. I, I, I have a friend. I, it, it's I have a friend here, an elevator. Bill Morowski here is a friend, one of the producers, a great guy and everything, and he has a thing about the carriage horses. Right. They have carriage horses that go through Central Park and they're stabled yeah. over yeah. near uh, 39th right. and 9th Avenue yeah. and that and everything. And he had a, a line in there, he said they were complete. he's for the, ca he thought they should be there. Some people think it's uh, animal rights and They've stuff. They've been there a long time. It's, you know, it's New York City icon, I will say yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, he, he had a line in there where he said they're talking about the, the, stat, the, the way the stables are set up. He said a lot of these horses have a bigger stable than most of the people in, ca in New York have as an I've apartment. Heard that. You know? I've heard that yeah. line before, you know. <laughs> yeah. and they got little mats and they got little rubberized mats yeah. underneath the hay so, yeah. so it's squishy so when they lay down it's actually soft. From, yeah, but from it's what bigger than a lot of people have to Air live in in New York. So, you, everything, so. so I was just thinking of you in a kitchen. If you don't have much room, if you have a hot plate or something, you know, I, mean, I had a little tiny getting, stove and yeah. you know a little tiny. Yeah, but sink. it's kind of limiting. If oh you, it'd be nice like, to have a whole kitchen. I had room. a bigger kitchen on the tugboat I worked oh, on. Okay. I mean, you know, yeah. and but I started cooking again. Yeah. Okay. Good. And I was like, you know. This is where my heart is, and I started cooking. Then I started entertaining some friends, and I'd invite a few friends over, and, and I cooked these elaborate southern dishes, and they were just blown away, and they loved it. All so right. it, it grew and grew and grew, and yeah. then I started doing cooking classes uh -huh. and showing people how to cook. There at the apartment? Yep, yeah, at the uh -huh. apartment, you know, four or five people at a time, uh -huh. and getting all the ingredients locally right here in New York City. Okay, and good. My, my goal is to, you close your eyes, mm -hmm. you think you're sitting on the by, and you're waiting for your plate. Yeah, all right. Because who can cook like this in New York City? Yeah, People's right. like, oh, it's something, the water down there, they got all those ingredients and spices. We don't have that up here. But you can Nonsense. get anything here. You can get anything you, can you want. You can cook everything right so here are in there New York City. So are there, are there Cajun restaurants all over Manhattan? I don't know They're that many. They're not all over Manhattan. You there's, think it's a thing that's coming? There's a, uh, uh, there's a few Southern restaurants and a few Cajun-themed uh, restaurants. Uh -huh. uh, some need some work. Some are up and coming. Uh -huh. And some uh, are... Are pretty good. Uh -huh, you know, uh -huh. there's some some that I do recommend, some that I, you know, not right now. I'm pretty sure if they stay at it, uh, they get it. I don't like to badmouth any uh, Southern Cajun restaurant, especially in New York City, uh, if they're trying hard. Yeah. You know. Right. 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 Just don't slander. You've the, been uh, in that, but you've been in that uh, bailiwick and everything, so you had appreciation of that. But just I know because you've got the makings, you've got the the accoutrements of a Southern gentleman. 
Thank you. You have that. I try, Where you know, about you? You know I what I mean? I say yes, ma'am, yeah. and, and no, no ma'am. Yes, sir. And yes, sir. Yeah. And yeah. I hold the door for people, but yeah. people don't normally hold the door for me, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. You know? You just open that door and walk through it yourself. That's and right. Go. You know? So capable. let's get on with the thing. Talk about how did you get the idea of doing a television show? Because that's what we're talking about this week is television, and particularly public access, m and n but television. You got, you got into it pretty seriously now. I always do things seriously. You I always, do. You I go full tilt to, boogie, I, I, do you? I go, I go above and beyond on everything I do, and sometimes that can be an expensive downfall for me. But yeah. uh, getting involved with the TV show, once we did the cooking classes, we started doing some how-tos on YouTube yeah. and uh, stuff like that. And people said, you should do a show. You mm. should do a show. And I'm like, you know, if I do it, I In want In front it. of the camera, like, yeah. like Julia Child. Right. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, a cooking mm. show, a cooking yeah. show. And I said, you know, if I, if I do it, mm. I want to do it right. I don't want to be just another uh, uh, YouTube uh, uh, cooking person. You know, I want, it, I want it to look network quality. I want it to stand out. Had oh. you had any experience with media in the past? Or Not really. No? Not really. I'm comfortable. And, uh, you know... Uh, I don't mind talking. I talk a lot. So uh, yeah, I can see. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's okay. That's good. That's good. We need that. Yeah. Anyway, and so you did. You took it on, and you said you got a partner also in this venture of yes, television. Yes. Yes. Yeah, and I, you've taken I can't, it on. I can't do it alone. And uh, yeah, talk about it. So you got the idea of doing it, and uh, when did you get the idea? When were you able to realize the first? You did a series. You say. Larry, and we got a clip. We got to make sure we have time to get yeah, in yeah, from I'm your. Yeah. Not sure show. what that is, but I'm yeah, pretty sure. Yeah, I hope well, it's good. But, but uh, anyway. We started with the uh, with the the filming with the uh, the YouTube series on some small handy cams. Uh -huh. and spent a lot of money on a bunch of uh, expensive, low quality equipment, and we learned real quick that uh, if you want a particular look, you're gonna have to raise the bar up. You didn't go 35 bit. millimeter or anything. You you know, it's all video. It's no, all we video. started with some video stuff because uh -huh. we thought we could get away with it. And of mm. course, you know, not knowing anything about this stuff, well, yeah. you know, we we learned from our mistakes. Yeah. And then finally got some people to help us out to show us what type of equipment we need, uh -huh. and uh, started investing, and mm -hmm. then uh, started cooking, and then we and then we realized that okay, now let's take it to the next level and let's. Cook, let's do a real network quality cooking show and let's see what happens. Uh -huh. And so, how long ago <coughs> did that begin? About, I mean, this is uh, what's the month now? It's uh, September, September of 2014. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we started this venture, I would say, about nine months ago with okay. zero uh, in. Working our way to that's the length of a human pregnancy. That it sure it's is. It's about time it's baby. The baby's born. about to <laughs> <laughs> present itself. The baby's yeah. about to come ah, out. You know? Cajun. <laughs> that's right. You know. <laughs> so uh, about nine months ago, we started mm. with nothing uh -huh. and uh, started in improving, 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 and then finally scratched up enough funds to uh, to to produce it with an actual production team with thirteen people, five cameras, cranes, rails. Uh, wow! A big staff and and you, a did you kitchen. did you rent a? It would be like a studio. Yeah, yeah, uh, we yeah, uh, we, uh, we rented production the, uh, studio. Yeah, we rented a production, a production studio. studio here in New York. Here in New York City. Yeah. Okay. There's a lot what of them. Are, I don't mean to go into any necessary details unless you want to. Them. What are the uh, costs of getting into that in touch with what would be like studio quality uh, facilities and so I'll, forth for those who might be thinking? I can about. only speak uh, for myself. You can do this a lot cheaper. Uh, but we, you know, we're serious about this. So uh, we have uh, we have close to a hundred thousand invested in uh, producing this entire Cage in the City production, from marketing materials all the way to equipment to, to pr actual production to editing. Wait to minute, airing. Have you got a pack? Have you got the equipment down that I in that budget that is uh, a network quality equipment, or was that the cost of? Renting a space, no, you have no, to rent a studio, and yeah, all that, that was kind the of thing. And you have to have we, we, salaries for people, and all yep, of that. What's we, the reality of trying to get uh, production values that are comparable to the network? We did it as cost uh, effective as possible, yeah. but also took it a few extra levels. Uh, uh -huh. uh, no, we rented all the equipment. Rented the equipment. Because the, okay, the equipment right. is that you know you can have a hundred thousand dollars in the equipment alone. Yeah, it'll go in one and, uh, piece of equipment. That's right. Could, so yeah. we're like you know. Let's just rent the equipment, and we we uh, we hired the team, the directors, and the 
a team. How did you go about in? doing that? How did you decide who the director? A director is important. You were executive producer, right? right? Okay, mm -hmm. so you were putting the business thing together. That's correct. Putting it together. Now, how do you just select a director, and how do you do uh, that, whether you're not we're got experience? Reaching out to different production companies mm -hmm. and uh, and, and did you just look in the phone book and no, go boom, or did you have some contact with book. you? Uh, no, you know what I mean. But uh, that's online. a metaphor. Online. Oh, online. Well, really? Okay. Yeah. I haven't okay. seen a phone book in years. That's you're absolutely <laughs> right. You're dating. I'm dating myself. It Especially if somebody the says they got yellow pages. Well, yeah, that's yeah. another one. We yeah. used to have that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember those. I remember it vaguely. But no, I was, anyway, I was going online. Talk about the realities a little bit. I was going online. You're doing it entrepreneurially. Yeah. So there's yeah, probably a lot of we, people who we don't want owe, to think about those things. We don't, we don't owe anybody. Uh -huh. We own this 100%. Okay. okay. And, uh, and you produced 13 series or something? We 13 episodes uh, uh -huh. back to back. We started at about 5 o'clock in the morning and we stopped at around 9 o'clock at night and we shot Boy, that's a full two day episodes back to two. back per day, uh -huh. two different ones. You Half hour episode? Uh, once they're edited down, they're roughly 28 minutes. Yeah. But each episode took about uh, four to four and a half hours. Uh -huh. To shoot. Uh -huh. How much footage do you get other than what you were? You got 28. They have it. They call it call on the cutting room floor. Oh, it's we got tons four of to stuff. one. Uh, you get for every four feet, you get one foot of. That's you know. the editing department. I'm not sure about uh -huh. that, but I know we got a lot of footage and it's all edited down to about. Had you, minutes. Did you have that worked out before you started the whole venture yeah, and get the all, financing yeah, and everything? Yeah, it was all yeah. worked out. And How uh, did you get? Did you have to go for financing outside of the family no. or your immediate, or you'd get you no, garnered we, a little uh, bit? Uh, basically, somewhere? I put my life savings in it, and so did my business partner, because that's how strongly we believe uh -huh. in what we're doing. Okay, and, good. Uh, yeah, we're at an age where uh, you know what's the worst thing that's going to happen? We fail and lose everything. Yeah. So what? Start well, over, do it again. Yeah, you right. Know, okay, do something yeah. else. Yeah, that's youthful energy and everything. <laughs> you know? And that's entrepreneurial. And right? that's, I guess so. You and know? you, you had had you had you sessed out, as they say in England, the uh, the market, yeah, yeah. Or, or the potential we for marketing the only a cooking show in the world. We're not the only cooking show in the no, world. No, a lot not of the, them. Yeah. Not the only cooking show on TV. But, no, lots. But yeah. we are the only. Cajun, Cajun. Southern cooking show that also uh, works with the famous Justin Wilson chef. Yeah, he's famous all the, over the South. Right? Yeah, all over yeah. the place. He was yeah. actually syndicated up here in New York City and ran, and he's still airing in New Orleans. Uh huh. So, uh -huh. and we work with that company, and we have uh, permission to use all of his footage and his recipes and his his cookbooks and stuff. Uh huh. And. Uh, we're keeping his memory of cooking in style alive through well, Cajun in the City. Good for you. Have That's you thought about brand? Oh, okay, well, let's let's go with that. And maybe this would be a time. You you brought, or uh, we have a clip, that is the, uh, a film clip that's on a, a thing. That maybe this would be a time for us to uh, show that clip. Sure. And uh, give the feel for the thing that you produced. You produced it here in New York. It's, and it's, it's a New York that's made in New York. And... Uh, uh, the team uh, was actually a part of a French production team, so working with some of the Cajun recipes, they were a little familiar with the terminology and how it had to be. So uh, yeah. uh, it was weird how that happened, but mm -hmm. uh, it, uh, it worked out. And when you're on a roll, things happen, you know, things like you didn't it. even know. You yeah. know what I mean? When you're positive on a roll. Positive energy, positive. Yeah, positive yep. gets positive. It gets it's better and better. better. Yeah, it seems you know? that way. It can. And now, trust yeah. me, we have bad days, and we've had some crazy things happen You've on set. You've had bad days in New York I City. I'm shocked. Bad days in there New York. There are bad you days You know what? In New York Shake City. it off, and uh, <laughs> you, you know it yeah. could be worse. Yeah, right, right. It could right. be worse. Okay, well then let's set that up in the booth if you could. We got this thing, and the guy is, uh, as we say, he's a chef, Cajun Ken, belovedly known as such, with the people that he's associated with here, and he's really a interesting uh, young man uh, and so forth. so let's see if we can't set that film up I guess about seven minutes or so yeah okay, okay. and that includes some of the series right yeah it's got okay. some of the series in there I believe. so let's see if we can run that now then please okay some, got some Justin Wilson stuff okay well I think they're here we go Welcome to Cajun in the City. I'm Cajun Ken. I'm bringing the Bayou to the Big Apple. We're sitting at the big boys table today, so pull up a chair, it's time to eat.
As you can see, I'm cutting up some nice little rounds here. I like my rounds a little bit fat. Just like that there. Pop those in there. There's a lot of fat, there's a lot of oil in here which helps coat the pan. And also, the oils and the seasonings that are in the sausage here are going to come out. This is about a pound of Cajun sausage. Now, if you don't have the Cajun sausage, you can get like a spicy kielbasa. We use that down south too sometimes when we're cheating. But you know what? If you season it right, you really can't tell. So just keep that in mind. You know, if you can't find the ingredients 100%, get your polar sausage, your spicy polar sausage. Or you can actually use like a spicy Italian sausage. If you cook it long enough and you season it just right, you'll be okay. For Justin's chicken, I don't know, in basic broccoli and rice, we have broccoli, celery, chopped onion, Cajun seasoning, flour, chopped parsley, rice, bay leaf, cayenne pepper. Right in there like that. You can't go wrong with this right here. Now right here we got a very special little seasoning here. Justin Wilson also had his own blend of seasonings. One blend is here is the Full Bleed Creole seasoning. I was lucky enough to get some of this here and I'm going to put some of that in it because I don't think he would have mind, not one bit. A couple of bay leaves, three bay leaves to be exact. I got two nice ham hocks here. What I like to do is when you get your ham hocks already cooked like this, cook little, little cuts in it. It opens up all the flavor. That's what that does. Just like that there. One ham hock. Oh man, I can smell it. Mmm. Smells like home. Smells like the South. Smells good. Hi, y'all are. I'm glad for you to see me, I guarantee. He went to Gonzales, Louisiana one day and he met another friend. He said, look, I got the very best bird dog in the world. He said, real good, he said, the best. When he point, there's a quail there. There's a Bob White. They got to be, I'll bet anything I got, there's a Bob White quail there, partridge. About that time, here come a little boy walking down the road. Shoom, that dog went on a dead point, a little boy. And his friend laughed and said, ain't no quail, that's a boy. He said, I bet he got a quail in his pocket. He said, son. The little boy said, what you want? He said, you got a quail in your pocket? No. He said, you have quail for lunch? No. Your papa raised quails and you help him clean those quails, cage it out, huh? No. He said, son, what's your name? He said, Bob White. <laughs> got them shank bone over here. You see that shank bone? That's the, the cheapest cut of meat you can get. And salt and pepper that with red pepper and salt. Now, I know it look like a lot of salt, but remember, we're going to put a lot of vegetable in there with that. Oh, man. Red pepper. Get them on there. Now I'm going to put them on, on the bag. Next up, southern green fried tomatoes. That's right. Right here in the big sippy. Jambalaya, mia, my, my, mio. Look at this. This is jambalaya. This is exactly how you're supposed to get it. Look at that. Oh, look at all of that there. Got your sausage. Got your shrimp in there. Big old plate. Now this is jambalaya, folks. This is how it's supposed to be. Top it off with a big old beautiful shrimp. Some southern fried green tomatoes here on the side. You can mix these up just like this. Or you can just eat them straight off the plate. Just like that there, woo! And of course, boom, bam. A little bit of jalapeno peppers there. Man, this is southern. This is good. This is Cajun, and this is the best that it's gonna get. Let's go ahead, let's get a taste. 
and see how we did here. That's good. Man. So you pull in the water and run home because it's time to eat. From the bayou to the Big Apple, keep cooking, America. Okay, okay. <laughs> what in the heck is jambalaya? Uh, I don't even you know never what had it, jambalaya? I never have had it. I got it. I look forward to it. Oh, yes. it's, it's a delicious mm. rice dish. Mm. Uh, it's uh, jambalaya, you ever had pie, Spanish? jelly jumbo. There you go. Yeah, right, but yeah. You've heard the song. But I heard you never the song, but I never knew what it was. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever had Spanish paella? Uh, yes, yeah, oh, that's great. In okay. Spain, I had Okay, yeah, it's yeah. basically the yeah. closest thing I can say is that it's. Uh, it's the Cajun version Spanish paella. Uh -huh. uh, it's rice, sausage. Uh, you know, you got your tomatoes in there. Yeah. You can have shrimp in there. It's a it's a nice rice concoction, and yeah. it's delicious. Yeah, right. It okay. really is. Uh, you can make chicken jambalaya, sausage jambalaya. It's 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 gumbo with a lot of rice. Yeah. Okay. And okay. It's just okay. Delicious. Now I could ask Man. you, what is gumbo? What is gumbo? <laughs> gumbo is basically... I'm sorry, I'm a northerner, you know. You I, haven't uh, had gumbo? Come no, on now. No, I've never had gumbo. You, I don't know what it is. You ever been to New Orleans? Uh, I've been through New Orleans. Been I through New Orleans. I spent time down there, no. You know, well, some people say gumbo is... Uh, it's a great town, I understand. Oh, it's a yeah, fantastic, fantastic place. Yeah, you know, you got to yeah. visit. I love yeah, it. Yeah. I go down there a few times a year. Yeah, and yeah. Just have a good just time. Just to play, yeah. Uh, to play and do a little bit of filming and yeah, uh, okay. eat the food and new mm -hmm. recipes and get uh, influenced a little bit more. you got to immerse yourself Jazz in Jazz came from there, I think, you know. Well, jazz mm -hmm. is popular there, yeah. Mm -hmm. Jazz, they say birthplace of jazz, and mm. you know. But gumbo, some people say gumbo is any soup that you put okra in. Oh. Are you familiar with okra? Yeah, I'm okay. familiar, yeah. All right. Uh, any soup you put okra in. Mm. And I, my definition of gumbo is... Uh, basically a soup that you put just about everything in. <laughs> you <laughs> know, in the kitchen you sink, can yeah. put all that uh, stuff in yeah. there and as long as you have a good roux to yeah. uh, start out with, uh -huh. you know, a uh, good nice flavored roux and you start adding your uh, your uh, your chicken and your sausage and your your, uh, your tomato sauce and your cut tomatoes mm. and you just cook it down and uh, your bay leaves and all that wonderful ingredients just cook down and you keep on reducing it. And yeah. you, you know, instead of using water, I use chicken stock. Uh -huh. You know, come on, this water don't have a, 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 a flavor, you know, but you know what? Chicken stock does, it's got water in it. Yeah. So use chicken stock, low sodium or no sodium chicken stock. Only put your salt in it at the very end. Yeah, but well you're talking to me like I don't know how to boil water. You so, know. I mean, you don't want to talk to me. You want to talk to somebody who knows, <laughs> some, Maggie knows about cooking. Right? My friend, you met Maggie. So, so yeah. you can't boil yeah. water? I barely. Yeah, really? I, I'm not very good. You got to invite me it. over. I, no. I, I bring, I bring the water in the pot. You know? All right, right. <laughs> no, but listen, and that fellow, that fellow that was the the figure down there. What's Justin his name? Justin Wilson. Yeah, what? A, he's a southern man. Yes, southern. he is. He had a southern drawl. Oh all that kind yeah, of he's. You, uh, you're kind of losing your southern drawl. You sound yeah. like New York almost. Oh really? Wow. Yeah, you're yeah. losing. You're yeah, compared losing to him. Your, yeah, him. Compared to he's him. A, and and the studio that was the studio where he did his show. Yeah, and it looks like the studio you have in terms it's of similar. the background. It's, it's similar. similar. Yeah, we. Either way, we, where do you tape? And it was done in one studio. You had to get a studio well, part taped, of your production. He taped his down in New Orleans. Uh, yeah, and that studio I know, was back built, in the seventies. Yeah, uh, started in yeah the early seventies. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so yeah, the, but now we're getting back to you as a production budding Metro Golden Mayor, uh, you know, uh, director of film. Television right. and, and all that, and so you you one of the things you had to have a location. You had to have a location. You got a location where you shot all the series. That's of When you had that equipment and everything. Yes, we talk about some of the nuts and bolts of how you put all that together. Well, first we you know we we have our own studio in, in Midtown Manhattan, and we uh, we thought that we were, we were going to be able to film in in my kitchen and uh, in studio, but come to find out that it grew so large that it just was a was it big enough? You mean so the project? Yeah, the so project right. itself. Uh, you had 13 people. 13 you people. Yeah, that's and a five lot. Five cameras and a yeah. crane and lights everywhere. So it just just wasn't going to happen. So we had to look into finding a kitchen with a courtyard, 
some people down up here they call it a, a backyard or yeah. a, a little common area but yeah. it was basically like a courtyard yeah. in the back so so we could do an outdoor grilling and boiling scenes uh -huh. and we could incorporate the kitchen so yeah. they fixed the kitchen up uh Louisiana style yeah you know we brought in the props and all the yeah. uh, decoration all yeah. the stuff you see on set is mine yeah actually yeah and uh I don't own the kitchen yeah that was a, a studio kitchen right but they did a wonderful job the team uh, Simon at Productions uh, yeah produced it uh, helped us produce it and uh it was their kitchen at their studio and we dressed it all up Louisiana style right 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 well that's what you'd want to do yeah yeah following on him yeah we don't want example. to he's the godfather of he that is guy. the godfather yeah. of Cajun cooking yeah. a lot of people called him the uh, the Julia Roberts uh, yeah. of, of Cajun cooking. Yeah, yeah right. Julia yeah. Childs, I'm yeah. sorry. Not Julia, Julia Roberts. Yeah, that's She's different. a great actor, by that's the way. That's a different actor, you yeah. Know, right. Julia Childs of, yeah. of, of Cajun cooking. Yeah, right. And I follow in his footsteps. I'm not Justin Wilson. I don't want to be Justin Wilson. But you know what? If it wasn't for Justin Wilson coming on TV on Saturday mornings when I was a kid after the cartoons came off, yeah. his program would pop up. Uh -huh. So you're laying there on the couch or sitting there eating. Uh, Fruit Loops or something, yeah, right. and Justin Wilson comes up saying, "Woo, I guarantee yeah, now it's gonna be a good meal today." Yeah, now, right. And I'm yeah. like, and you know, and you end up watching it and catching it, and uh, you just relate to him. Mm. He's like, he's like the grandfather I never had. It's a big art form cooking in that, and then you have Scoffier. Yeah, you know, you have a chef, and and that's that's really in France. They're yes. just absolutely nuts about food. They really and are. They really are. Like a scaffier. Is there, like you have a Pavarotti as a tenor. You yes. Know, it, 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 everything everything is, is over so the who top. So who them. is the, uh, in your vein, yeah, now, let's say it's a form. Like you have opera, you have uh, other forms, art forms, and music involved. But uh, uh, cooking or art is, is, is an art form. It really and is are an art there form. Di do they have it divided down into certain kind? They have a, they have a uh, dessert chef. They have a person. They got a famous thing like Hercule Poirot would like, you know. Uh, who's the greatest chef? And where does Cajun fit into the overall uh, cuisine of the world uh, in the way you understand it? Maybe it's not a fair. It's just something I'm right wondering about. How, and how many different kinds of restaurants do we have in New York? And why isn't there something Cajun? Why They should have a restaurant of everything it really, it really because should. there's room they, for everybody in New York. Here. You like New York? Yeah, I love New York. Yeah, they, okay. They mm. have uh, some wonderful Southern uh, restaurants and Cajun themes, Southern and Cajun. Yeah. A little bit of mix. Uh, I don't know. I really can't answer that. But you know, they it, don't have it at Howard Johnson. No, they don't. It's you a, know what uh, I mean? Yeah. It's it's uh it's definitely a Southern thing. Yeah. And if uh, you've g been lucky enough to travel down there to mm. New Orleans and the parts of Mississippi and Biloxi and mm. even over in parts of Texas. You're lucky enough to try some of the real uh, Southern and Cajun cuisine. Now, I want to be perfectly uh, clear that when people think of Cajun food, first thing they think of is hot and spicy. Yeah. But that's well, incorrect. It is? That okay, is well, incorrect. That's, uh, and uh, that's one of my jobs, I feel like, when I'm on the show and talking to people about Cajun food. Cajun food is flavorful. You don't have to be hot and spicy. Now, who wants to eat a mouthful of peppers? You well, know? I don't know. There's uh, a lot of people down south of the border have a lot of that in Mexico. Yeah, they do, a, but you know, yeah. it, uh, you want your food to be flavorful. Uh, Cajuns flavor the food, and uh, people over the years end up putting too much cayenne or too much pepper uh, in their food because maybe some someone did it that way. But that's not true Cajun. Uh, it should be a nice balance of heat, spice, and flavor. In painting, we have people who have critics who do it, or critics of film, right? Who say what is good, and they decide what the standard is for quality yeah, and everything. Yeah, I don't, form. I don't. Who yeah. sets the pattern for cuisine? I mean, it's an art form of the highest art, and it's something that affects everybody because everybody could have that art form part of their everyday life because everybody eats. That's right. You know, yeah. so. Uh, couldn't it be picked up by more people as an art expression and everything it in the be. general society? Could you help foster that in the United States of yeah, America with I would your love television to. program? I mean, that's that's my goal is, mm. to, is to bring the bayou to the Big Apple. Big the bayou. That's a you got that trademark. Yeah, yeah you do have a trademark. That's our. That's, that, that's our. No, but do you have a trademark? Yeah, 
Yeah. Nobody else can use that? Nobody else can use you that. Got, you got patents on all yeah, this stuff? Nobody else can use that. So you know how to do business. You know. You uh, have a business sense, do you? A little bit. Yeah, I got a some little good people, bit. I got some good people around me. Uh-huh. You, you know, know how to get good people. That's, That's part right. of what you have to know, you know is how to get you know, good I, people. I, I have to focus on what I do <coughs> and not get too sidetracked on the, the business end of it, but you, it's all very important. Uh -huh, yeah, you got to do it all. You're executive producer of the series, That's right? Correct. Now, you're spreading it out. You're going out to other places. You're here. We're proud and glad to have I'm you here. 11 a.m. on uh, every, Manhattan Network. Yeah, You're we, airing your Cajun series. Cajun in the City airs uh, every Tuesday at 11 a.m. on Channel 56, uh -huh. Lifestyle Channel 2. Uh -huh. You know, and we just got the series uh, renewed by M&M &M, so, uh, uh -huh. for the fall, so we're going to be airing again. And it's aired all, it can be seen all over the world, too. Are you it, taking advantage of uh, the fact that that's available by letting people around? Do you have a mailing list, or do you have a list of people we you're do. in touch we, with around have, the world? We have office people, and they keep up with the, uh, with the comments yeah, on the mailing list. Okay, and you have a pretty good uh, mailing list or a way of letting it's people growing. know that it's there. It's, it's growing. Okay, uh, well, that's something you'd want to develop, yeah. the developed market, it's right? It's growing. Or viewership, yeah. It's growing. And there's a lot of ways for that to be done now. Do a you lot, use, lot of ways. Do you use Facebook or Twitter or any we, of the social media? We're huge media? on Facebook. Yeah. Huge, uh -huh. huge. We got okay. a huge following. Uh, we post things on Facebook uh, uh, two, three times a day, and especially when we do a big project or we're doing something uh, press releases and stuff. It always goes on Facebook and mm -hmm. automatically hits Twitter. Mm -hmm. uh, it hits our YouTube account. Mm -hmm. It hits our website. Our yeah. website is elaborate. Are you following all of that or do you have some young fellow who's taking care of that? You're getting a little uh, old for being able to handle the computer. It's I so do. complex. Yeah, I know. I it's mean, you need a yeah. seven-year-old or something. Yeah. You know what well, I mean? I got a Almost couple, serious. I got a couple 12-year-olds yeah. in the office. And okay. They're, uh, they're, yeah. they're, they're, they're working pretty well. They handle well. all that they, cyber stuff. They handle huh? all that cyber stuff. Yeah, yeah. Have you, know? you ever thought about putting out a line of foods, can, put it out in a it's, retail way? It's or in anything? the works. We're ever thought of doing a restaurant or anything like that? People ask me that a lot. Do they? I approached a gentleman the other day who's interested in me looking at a piece of property yeah and uh what part of town would you do it uh this location is down in uh around 14th street okay Union Square yeah. Area. yeah 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 you know? Union Square, yeah you know yeah. so uh you know i'm i'm open to suggestions and, uh -huh. and ideas and you know uh you know as long as i go into a restaurant and i have full control of the menu and the creative style of the uh of the food mm -hmm. you're not going to put my name and on the presentation that's correct. it's all part of a whole and thing you know yeah and if you yeah. don't want to if you want to just theme a restaurant Cajun and throw in some garbage, uh, I don't want to be any part of it. I see you just featured in a magazine, just came out, it's current right now, September 2013, you're yeah. featured TC3 introduces Sh Chef Cajun Ken and the, and that. So there's an article yeah. in here about that and you're going to do some writing for that. Yes, the Times uh, Square Chronicles. For the top, that's a new. That's a new. How long has that been? been Paper's been, been around about maybe a couple years and it's doing very well. It's in, uh, probably every hotel in uh, in Times Square. Okay. And, uh, businesses around. It's an online edition. Is huge. The online yeah. edition is three times the size of the paper. I'll be darned. And, okay. Uh, and you're going to well. do writing for food in there? Yes. Are you going to uh, cover other aspects of food other than Cajun? Yeah. Are you gonna sure. Why not? Well, yeah. I know, but you don't know. You don't know the secrets of Escoffier. No, I don't. You know what I, I mean? I can. I can figure it out. It's a. It's I an art it form. It is an art form. Yeah. You know. You know, in that, you know, so you... Me, I have a problem with Cajunizing me. everything. <laughs> you know, I'm going to take your scoffier and I'm going to look at those yeah. ingredients right. and I'm going to look at my stuff and I'm going to say, okay, boom, now mm. we got us a Cajun scoffier. Yeah, you know, well, I tell you, I think there that? might be some problems with the estate of a scoffier well, because he's got some trademark on you know, that. Well, and that's, a, that's like going and messing up with a painting by Picasso or something. You know, you know it well, really is. Well, but I'm intrigued by the fact that this could become... There's a lot about local now in the air. Uh, grow your food locally and healthy. And That's all great. That. It That's really coming. is. But you so know don't what? you think it could be accompanied by people taking more interest instead of just some TV dinner or some slapdash thing put together in terms of food? Could take up the food business as an art form in the family setting. I agree. You know, they I could be, you know what I'm saying? From, from farm there, there to table. Be, yeah. I'm a big fan of farm to table. Yeah. Unfortunately, we don't have many farms in New York City. That is a problem. And that is a huge problem. But we have a lot of access to good food. You they have they're bringing it in from upstate now. Yes, and they right. have farmer's market, Union Square, and, uh, all that. It's a shame that a lot of these communities in the boroughs don't really have uh, uh, real fresh uh, vegetables and, and, and foods, and they and where they do have it, they have to go to these uh, organic uh, grocery stores and these high-end grocery stores, 
They just can't afford it. Yeah, it's and too it's, expensive. Uh, yeah, that's and so a guess shame. what they do? They end up getting the packaged stuff. They end up getting dehydrated stuff. They end up getting uh, lower quality uh, fruits yeah. and vegetables. Yeah. But uh, mm. uh, I'm a big fan of, of fresh vegetables. Uh -huh. And uh, everything I cook on the show and cook at home, I get locally right here from... Uh, uh, I live in Hell's Kitchen, uh -huh. so I go to Big Apple Meat Market, which is over on uh, Ninth Avenue. Yeah, and those guys. Yeah, yeah, they they supply a lot of restaurants. And they stuff. supplies a, a lot of restaurants. Nice guys running. Very too. nice, mm -hmm. uh, Ed and Pete. Yeah, and uh, very nice guys, and they uh, they always have a nice selection of vegetables that mm -hmm. I get. And I get the meats there uh -huh. and everything. So uh, you can find great products here in New York City. I'm just thinking about how can you branch? How much more do you see yourself branching out in terms of television? You had an experience. You put this series together. You're putting this thing on m and You're doing television. You're writing some. You're doing that and everything. How much do you see expanding, and what direction do you see yourself going in terms of the world of television and now all the digitization and media? That's going? Where do you see yourself in terms of that two, three, five, ten years out? Well, we're doing as much as we can as fast as we can. Yeah, uh, well, that's you know, the, huge the, for you. The show yeah. is, uh, mm. is doing very well. Is it good? Uh, okay. I mean, couldn't be doing better. You Do you know? have DVDs that you uh, make available well, we, to people? We will. We will okay, have yeah, the DVD okay, uh, yeah. series and the Justin Wilson series also be available oh, on well, DVD. Oh, that's in, historical. In a combo yeah. pack with uh, us and them, uh, so, uh, us and uh, Justin. You're going to ride with the Cajun thing, yeah? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You okay, know, I mean, yeah. you know, he's yeah. part of us and we're part of him. You haven't thought about doing some other kind of a production with all the production skills and capability you have to do a show about dogs or a show about... Well, we... You know, uh, by, uh, something else, but you know, the uh, the idea of production itself well, our company, is exciting. That's called movie making, right. and that's an art form again. Well, our company is Pentloft Studios. We mm. produce Cajun in the City LLC. Right? Yeah. yeah, and uh, mm. you know we own that. Mm -hmm. So Cajun in the City is part of Pentloft Studios. So we have the capabilities of producing many other shows. Are you thinking branching out into something other than cooking or even uh, Cajun? It's possible. Or th Anything's possible. No, but, I'm just asking. But, uh, Maybe it's not fair. You know. But uh, did you get the bug for production itself apart from you being a no, part of a No, I got the camp? bug for cooking. Well, uh, well and, it, and, it, and it moved into to, to the TV show because my goal is, is to bring the body to the Big Apple as fast as I can. Uh -huh. How can I do that? Well, you get on TV, you get on the internet, and you hopefully create a buzz and people like what you're doing mm -hmm. and over time it grows and grows and grows. <coughs> we just uh, got signed on to a new network called Swig TV. Swig, talk about it. Which and other distribution capabilities with Swig, talk it's, about it's it. Swig, uh, Please. We, I was on the phone with them uh, earlier and uh, we're launching uh, the very first cooking uh, channel with uh, Swig TV. It's a global digital platform and they're going to put Cajun in the City and Justin Wilson uh, series that we have in over 180 countries wow. worldwide. And what way is it delivered is digital? It's or? delivered uh, through online uh, platform. Uh -huh. For example, if you got a smartphone, yeah, you, there's a free app called Swig App, mm -hmm. and you hit it, and it brings up all these free TV channels that, mm -hmm. that you can watch. It'll come to your phone, right? That's right, and you can yeah. watch them right there on your phone. And if you have one of those smartphones, you can put that to a big screen. And sure, you, you can could. connect to a big screen yeah. and have the picture. Yeah, you have an uh, That's an just a, a way an, of have like an having a computer. You have an iPad, yeah. watch it, and you cook it uh, right, right. So there's right a lot of room for all oh, kinds of just, it, we're going to be swimming in uh, programming, aren't we? Swimming you know in Cajun cooking. You didn't get, you haven't gotten bid, gotten bid bit by the editing bug and the artful use of media and creation, you're still in front of the camera in terms of where you love to be. Yes. Not the uh, art form of creating programming. You might go off in something else. That's some, something you're thinking about. Yeah, well, we're, we're, we're promoting Have you thought the, about trying to promote some other kinds? Could you promote Italian cooking? We have, we have cooking? some wonderful sponsors. Could you do a thing about uh, uh, English cooking? That don't do. I could They're do English. They're terrible. They, yeah. It's the worst they are. in the I'm gonna, world. They're I'm going to go to England. I'm going to go to England, and we're going to cook some Cajun they food. That is terrible. You know, I'm going to go to England and cook some Cajun food, but we are brand oh, new. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to start off a storm with that. Oh, they're the yeah. worst, they're, they have That's the worst be, cuisine in the world. I know. I we're going to fix bangers. that. We're going to fix that, yeah. you know. But we are branching out. We're, we, mm. uh, we just... Uh, we started working with uh, Cajun TV Network, which is a, uh, a new marketing such, company. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and they're uh, down in Morgan City, Louisiana. Yeah, uh -huh. and they uh, approached us, and we're working with them now, and uh, working with Rex Cajun Seasonings, Slap Your Mama uh, Seasonings. This company here, uh, Slap Dad Your Mama. Sauce. Which is uh, which is a wonderful hot sauce. Yeah, and uh, you know would use the gumbo fillet. 
which is the sassafras. Gumbo Slay? Yeah, yeah. th this is the leaf right here from this the is sassafras. The this yeah. is the I know sassafras. They have sassafras all, in Michigan. All, that is, all this, that is all that is is ground up sassafras this, leaf. Yeah. So and you I, could go out and get sassafras and really holler anywhere. Gr grind it up yeah. and use it as, as a flavor enhancer in your soups and your gumbos. My you mom, heard it here first, folks. Yeah. Okay. My mom These asked are important, her, these spices. These, yeah. these leaves came from Mississippi. And oh. my mom sent them up here to me because I wanted some because I wanted to make my own uh, gumbo filet. Mm. And uh, I said, go out on the property and look and see if you can find some sassafras Oh, oh uh, my gosh. Trees. We used to see it at Lake Orion in she Michigan. Went, it was all over the she place. She went out there and they found some. And she said, I got you some sassafras leaves. And I'm going to ship it up to you. Oh. And I said, good. You know, and she said, I got you some cookbooks, too. I'm going to send you up. I said, good. Send those up, too. So when I get the UPS ring at the door, I go down and there's this box this big. <laughs> and I go, holy <laughs> crap. What did she uh, send me? I swear, Harold, the woman sent me. 30 pounds of sassafras <laughs> leaves. And I called her up and said, Mom, all I needed was a, maybe a couple uh, Ziploc bags yeah, of yeah, sassafras. Yeah, right. She said, well, I didn't know how many you needed. Yeah, so I said, what would you do, send me the tree? Oh, I see you got a good mother you in know, your corner. So That's always important. Yeah, yeah I don't know why I'm going to do all these leaves. Mm. I'll mm. give some to you. How about all right, that? yeah, okay, I'll take them. Maggie will take them. My friend, yeah. she's really a cook, and I do think it's an art form. And I really am glad. And, uh, I'm glad to hear that you also support this idea of public access television, what we're, we're, we're producing TV. now. It's unique, you if know. If it wasn't for public access, we wouldn't have, we wouldn't have started. You wouldn't have had, it, it gave you a kickstart. That's right, yeah, it gave it, you the motivation yeah, and the drive uh, to say, hey, you know, we can do the, this. Was it the existence of MNN or as a, a public access was part of the incentive that got you to make the television series? It really was. Public well, access. Well, that's important. Public, Thank you, public access. Public yeah. access was, uh, what was, was the drive behind it. It's like, wow, we can be on public access in a network. To get you started. To get us started and get yeah. us out there. And that yeah. gave us the motivation to say, you know, now we get on other networks yeah. and we push it and we go to Swig TV right. and all this other stuff. And it just keeps growing and growing it's and like growing. It's like a Judy Garland movie. Yeah. A star <laughs> is born. You know, we're going to put on a show in the barn. You that's know? right. But that's like the barn is the place where you yeah. can put it on. It's you not know, so, all Broadway so, right So wherever, the everywhere Cajun City goes, I will hmm. always be... Uh, thankful for public access and especially M&N yeah. yeah. because that's where it all started. Yeah, okay. And uh, I always give them the credit uh, that, that, that they deserve. Yeah, uh -huh. and you continue. And, and you I just continue. had a new, so you'll be doing this. And you that's got right. new series. And the ones that are coming up in the time ahead is just uh, 11 o'clock in the morning on, on... Yeah, well, we're going yeah. to, uh, we're going to be airing in Bronx, Brooklyn, and Queens okay, also in the fall on, on reach the public out. channels reach as well. Reach out, reach out. One of the problems in cable television, I'm here to tell you, I haven't been in for a while, it's time. You run out of time. We've run out of time. Thank you so, so much, Harold. Thank you. Cajun. That's it. Keep uh, cooking. No. Chef Cajun Ken. You heard it here first place. Uh, I say big things. He's going he's gonna to bring Cajun to Brooklyn. And I think that's it's a good, coming to a Queens good idea. Brooklyn. So it's your pleasure. Thanks a lot for coming in. Great to see you. And all the best with your adventures and everything you do. And we invite you to tune in. We'll be coming back again tomorrow in New York. And so thanks a lot for viewing. And one more time, thanks a lot, Ken. Very thank much. you, Harold. Okay. Bye-bye.